Hey guys, I want to show you how to use a Fire tablet or any Android tablet as a head unit display. So if your car doesn't have, you know, the built-in navigation uh, display right here. Best part is that you don't need to have a cable to link to your phone. So I'm using a, right here a Pixel phone, but it can be a Samsung phone or any Android phone. So it's going to be wireless Android Auto uh, from the phone right here to the tablet. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So please stay tuned and watch this video until the end. It's a login. Here we go. This is the Android Auto and it's connected to this phone wirelessly. So uh, you can have all the Android Auto apps right here and you can tap on the map right here to make it bigger. Again, to make it bigger. So this is pretty cool, right? It works as if you had Android Auto in your car. So if your car doesn't have a head unit display like this on the, on the back, uh, you can use any tablet. So Fire tablet are really inexpensive. Uh, you can buy use one for thirty to forty dollar, and uh, it's gonna work like this if you follow my instructions. So watch this video until the end. Step by step instructions on how to convert your Android tablet into a head unit display in your car, and it's gonna connect to your phone wirelessly. So every time you come in the car, uh, it's gonna connect automatically. You don't have to to wire connect. But uh, if you want to charge your tablet right here, I recommend, you know, plug in the USB cable and, uh, you know, plug it in, uh, you know, if it's out of battery. So let's say while you're driving, you receive a message and you can play it aloud right here. Please like and subscribe to my channel so others can find this video too. Uh, like and subscribe so YouTube can recommend this video to other people who might need help. So basically what you need is you need this mount right here. And we're gonna leave the link in the description, video description below. Like, you know, uh, distorted, so it's gonna fit in the space right here. So what's great about this mount is that this has a really strong suction cup right here that you put on the window. And also right here, when you have uh, this, it's gonna hold the phone in place right here. This. So once you put it, you just, uh, you know, clip it like this, so it's gonna, attached to the window. So what we want to do is we want to rotate this because we're going to put the tablet this way. Right here as you can see, uh, this you can like rotate. Uh, so as you can see, the mount right here is here and then right here, it's stable. It's very stable. And uh, this you can pull it. So it's uh, going to expand this. So I have with me here uh, Amazon Fire Max 11 tablet. You can use any Android tablet or any Fire HD tablet, HD, HD8, HD10, Fire 7. Uh, it's gonna work. So what you want to do is, you want to put in that socket right here. So you want to enlarge this. So bump this up right here, and you want to pull this down, and it's gonna fit like this. And you can move this around. You know, you can move up and down. You can adjust this to whatever position you like right here and it looks really nice so if your car doesn't have a head unit display this is a great way for you to use your tablet uh, you can even move around the tablet which is uh, kind of nice so i'm gonna show you how to install the head unit display so on your fire tablet or the android tablet that you have you need to be connected to internet first so you want to do this when you're connected to internet so if you have internet right here you want to connect to the internet first so go to internet and connect to a wi-fi just tap on the wi-fi and here enter your wi-fi password so now i use the wi-fi to connect right here on the tablet first so once you connect it to wi-fi what you want to do is you want to install the play store uh, so watch my other video on how to install the play store on your fire tablet or any Android tablet. So uh, you can have a Play Store right here because we're gonna install an app from the Play Store. So usually the app on the Fire tablet are from the App Store right here. And those apps are limited. You don't have all the apps. Uh, and here you go. So we're gonna go to the Play Store, launch the Play Store. And you wanna go here to search on the top and you wanna search for right here, Head Unit Reloaded. So once you search this, it's gonna be from AA Wireless. So it's called HUR at the end, Head Unit Reloaded Emulator HUR. And since I already installed it, so this one costs uh, $4.99. So, you know, if you have a tablet, uh, $4.99 is good price uh, compared to 
you know, if you were to buy like a head unit display, which is, you know, $100 to $200 to install in your car. So if your car doesn't have any, you know, display in your car, this is a cheap way for you to, you know, have a head unit display right here. So once you do this, uh, you can open it up. It's going to show something like this, right? And I'm going to show you on the bottom right here. You go back. It's going to be called head unit display. So you want to install this. And uh, now what we want to do is there's different ways to connect to your phone right here wirelessly uh, or with a cable. If you have a cable, you connect uh, the USB-C cable to your phone and it's going to work right away. If you want to charge your phone and your tablet, uh, you want to use wireless. I'm going to show you how to connect wirelessly your phone so it's easier more convenient when you get in the car when it's close by it's going to connect automatically to the your phone so let's do this so what you want to do is you want to go to your phone so once you're on the phone you want to go to the play store right here and on here you want to search uh you know wi-fi launcher aa wireless so right here it's also from AA Wireless. So you want to install this app because it's going to enable, uh, you know, wireless Android Auto from your phone to the tablet right here, the head unit display. And once it's done, what you want to do is, okay, it's going to appear right here, the Wi-Fi launcher. So that's a new app. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to create a hotspot on your uh, phone so there's different ways to do it you can have hotspot on your tablet your phone connects to it or the tablet connects to your phone's hotspot or you can also have a p2p which is wi-fi directly you don't need to create a hotspot but sometimes it's not going to work so i'm going to show you something that will work on most phones so what you want to do is you want to go to settings your phone uh, swipe up and then you want to search settings right here go to settings can search for hotspot in the settings on here so you can do uh, h-o-t so wi-fi hotspot you can tap on here and what you want to do is you want to tap on wi-fi hotspot and you want enable it so enable it uh, remember the hotspot name is you know here pixel 4421 this is the hotspot wi-fi hotspot created by your phone and also the hotspot password. Uh, so you can have this right here. Remember the password because we're gonna connect your phone to this Wi-Fi hotspot. And uh, let's do this. So uh, swipe and then hold on the on the Wi-Fi right here. And so we're gonna look for the pixel. So which is the name right here? Pixel four four two one, the hotspot name. And uh, since we enable it so make sure to enable it before we you can search so it's it shows right here pixel 4421 just tap on it to connect to it and uh just wait for it to connect and it says connected right now okay so that's good so that, that means your tablet is connected to the phone wi-fi hotspot and what we want to do now is you want to go to the wi-fi launcher that you just downloaded on your phone just tap on that uh okay just allow allow and then understood okay so oh we're gonna fix this first oh no there's permission denied so just tap on this and then we need to allow this app to display over other apps just click okay and just go down to wi-fi launcher so just hit allow on this and after that come back with the back arrow on the top right here come back again and it's gonna say permission needed. We need to modify system settings in order to toggle the hotspot on and off when connecting to your car's Bluetooth. Just hit OK and just hit allow on this. So just go back right here and just uh, hit OK. Apps need to have battery optimization turned off. Okay, just allow. All right, so it says great, all permissions are granted. So next, uh, we need to connect the Bluetooth right here from uh, this app Wi-Fi launcher to the tablet because uh, once you are nearby it's gonna launch this and it's gonna connect automatically Android Auto wirelessly so you don't need to do manually uh, each time so what you want to do is you want to go to Bluetooth so you want to go swipe down right here 
and you want to hit hold on Bluetooth tap and hold and you can actually do pair new device if you don't see your new tablet uh, name right here so the tablet name Bluetooth right here uh, mine is fire tablet but yours can be a different name so connect to the Bluetooth on your tablet and after that come back uh, to Wi-Fi launcher right here and just hit select right here so that's the Bluetooth on your fire tablet right here that's what it's called uh, just hit on that and just hit OK uh, so you have your tablet connected to your phone hotspot just hit uh, start service manually right here like that and it's gonna open right here uh, Android Auto on here so what you want to do is you want to go to you know your home and open this head unit app right here and here you go so you are connected wirelessly to your car you can even close this and every time you have like notifications or you play music your phone's gonna act as a speaker so right now it's uh, connected to your phone right uh, so Android Auto is on here uh, and you successfully just uh, install a head unit display for you know very very cheap because you can get these tablets uh, even smaller like the Fire HD 8 or HD 7 to be in your car uh, as a head unit display if your car doesn't have a display right here so you can create messages you can do phone calls uh, right here you can do phone calls you can dial a number you can call someone so let's say I'm calling a phone number right here I'm gonna hit call and I call from the phone as normal just like Android Auto uh, you can make uh, you know you can listen to music and so on uh, let's see uh, let's see if you have YouTube music here so you can have YouTube music on here as well so radio let's see radio FM podcast you can do Santa Monica right here Here you go. So you have this right here. Directions. And you know you can see where you're going right here. Just as normal. You can make it bigger like this. So this is a pretty cool thing to have. Uh, I think you can end like this. And you can do uh, you know directions. You can do right here, kind of here. So it's gonna give you direct directions right here. Uh, car stream as well. So park your car. Please watch my other video on how to install car stream. So um, find gas stations. Okay, there's seventy six zero point three miles away. Want to navigate there? Okay, you can tap sure. this as well. So we can go to gas station. You can bookmark places. So it works as if you have like Android Auto on your on your phone and on the head unit display right here. So you can uh, avoid you know root options. You can avoid things right here. Just as you would avoid tolls, highways, and so on. Uh, you can make this bigger like this. So this is pretty cool, right? You have a tablet right here, which is uh, you know Fire Max Eleven, right? say yeah you can listen to radio as well if you have apps on your phone so if you find this video helpful please give a like and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate uh so youtube can recommend this video to other people who might find this useful so this is the back i'm gonna show you right here and you can actually move this around and you even have this right here that you can move around uh, you know to take it out easily and let me show you how you can take it out so you just pull on the bottom right here pull it out and here you go so your tablet is out now so you have your tablet right here the Amazon fire tablet 